Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is on ThinkPone. This story comes from a researcher whose name I can't pronounce, but who goes by the alias Crash. And he found a new vulnerability in the UEFI firmware on Lenovo ThinkPads, which of course he calls ThinkPone. Now UEFI stands for the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. And this is kind of the firmware on motherboards that replace the BIOS. It's kind of the software in between the platform platform in the actual operating system. In any case, this researcher found a vulnerability in the Lenovo ThinkPad's UEFI software that basically allows him to elevate his privilege. And by the way, UEFI is what allows for all kinds of secure boot capabilities, such as maybe encrypting your firmware, allowing Windows to secure boot, allowing Windows to have a very strongly encrypted file store for credentials and things like that. This privilege escalation allows attackers with physical access to your computer to actually break this. They could do things like disable secure boot and so on and so forth. In fact, this particular researcher actually released proof of concept code on GitHub uh, that allows you to do this. You basically need a USB key and physical access to a vulnerable laptop. By the way, as it turns out, according to Lenovo, this vulnerability isn't in their code. It's in code they got from the people that delivered the firmware. And it may apparently affect Intel's reference firmware for UEIF. So there may be more than just Lenovo ThinkPad laptops that are affected by this. Now the good news is right now this proof of concept code requires physical access to a computer in order for a bad guy to take advantage of it. But Crash or the researcher says that he believes you might be able to take advantage of it through the operating system too, in which case malware could actually disable your secure boot and do bad things. In any case, if you're a Lenovo user, you definitely want to check out this alert and get any updates that are available. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.